can you use a contract in any given state or country? This is one of the most frequently asked questions that we get here at the contract shop. Can I use your template in X state or can I use this template with this client in this country? Today, we're gonna to talk about how contracts can be carried over from province to province or state to state and when they cannot. Welcome, I'm Christina Scalera, the attorney and founder behind The Contract Shop, and today we're talking about whether you can use our contracts in different locations with different clients, or whether you need to start over from scratch with something different. Personally, I can't speak for every other template or contract that's available out there because I haven't read them, I haven't created them, I haven't spent so much time with them like I have with the templates inside our store. So this video is primarily going to be focused on the templates that we sell and whether they're transferable across different areas. However, there's many things I'm gonna talk about that will apply in different kinds of situations. So even if you don't have one of our templates, you'll still wanna stick around and learn when you can use your template in a different area. So first things first, when I created the contract templates we sell inside the contract shop, I was really focused on defining the communication and boundaries and relationship between the service provider and the client. Client. And in most cases, you are going to be the service provider watching this video. So welcome, we're glad to have you here. And the reason why I was so focused on this relationship that you would have with your clients is because we wanna make sure it's fair for all parties involved. That's what makes the contract legally valid and binding. And it's also what gives the client to have confidence in you and your services if they know that they're not just getting screwed over or something by a rude contract or like a one-sided contract. With that said, I hope you can tell how important the relationship between the service provider and client is to me. And I know that intimately because I had a service-based, I've had several service-based businesses that spanned several years in each case. And I know how important it is to get a client, make sure they're happy, and then make sure they're referring you out to their friends, whether you're asking for it or not. Those unsolicited reviews, those raving fans that you get sometimes are the best compliment you could ever have. And all of that communication, that entire relationship, if you think back to it, starts with the contract. And so this is why the relationship aspect of a contract is so, so critical. It's also why our contracts can be used across the world in different states and different countries. And I'll talk a little bit about how we have divided that up along different country lines and why we did that as well, because if they can be used anywhere, why do we have different versions for the US and Canada, et cetera? So our contracts can be used anywhere because they are based on the relationship. And let's compare and contrast that to say a real estate contract, like a contract for the sale of a house. That is going to be incredibly local to your area. And so that would not be an appropriate template to sell online because it isn't transferable across state lines. It might not even transfer across county lines within a state. In the case of all of our templates, because they are so relational and relationship based, it means that they can transfer across different areas and countries countries and be used pretty interchangeably between different parts of the world. That's significant because it means that you don't have to reinvest in a new product every single time you have a client from a different country. And when we're talking about our terms of service and privacy policies, that's especially important because we have the most conservative, most strict privacy policies available because it's easier for you to delete the things that you don't want to include than it is for you to go and research and include them. That's kind of our job, that's, that's what we do. <laughs> because <laughs> it's boring and we love it. There's another reason why we're able to provide templates that you can use and that are legally binding across different areas, states, territories, the world, etc. This one's a little bit harsh, so bear with me. Your business is not that special. At the end of the day, you have a business and it takes in money and it provides some sort of offer, some kind of client or customer relationship to the world. And that's the core of every single business. So that doesn't change no matter what your unique specialty is or how many years of expertise you have or how awesome and how many referrals you get, all that great stuff, how, how big your PR cash is with press articles and a blue check mark and all that stuff. At the end of the day, a business is a business and you're only a business if you take some money in and put it in a bank account, preferably a business checking account. <laughs> 
If you are a business, the principles of how you operate at the very, very basic level are not gonna be so different. You need a contract in order to book a client. It doesn't matter if you're a social media agency or the top press firm in the world who's doing PR for a client. And it's actually great news that your business isn't so special because it allows you to invest in these templates at a fraction of the cost of what an attorney would have charged you to draft this up in a custom way. And I might add that attorney probably has no idea what you do for a living or has any way to define like what UGC content is. So our templates take an extra special look at that and we're able to see what you're doing and help nuance those agreements to fit your business. So while the basis of the templates is not that special, the nuance is really what brings that to light and what helps you in the long run because you don't have to fish out all those nuances and the little nooks and crannies where you could run into problems. And finally, no matter where you are in the world, it's always better to start with a template than a custom drafted agreement from an attorney. The reason for this is because our templates have been through the ringer. We have over 9,000 happy customers over the last seven years that we've been in business. And you can bet we've seen every situation under the sun. So our templates have been modified and updated accordingly, according to all these crazy situations, which if you want me to do another video about that, let me know in the comments below. Compare that to a custom drafted contract for you. So again, the attorney might not understand fully what you do for a living. They might not get this online business thing. They might not understand how social media fully operates in your business or how you aspire to have it operating in your business. On top of all that, you're gonna have a problem because you are the only person who is using this contract and therefore it's not getting updated. It's not going through the ringer like ours have. And it's going to take you a lot longer to be exposed to all the potential vulnerabilities of that custom contract, whereas Ours have already been exposed to that through the years from our customers who have given us feedback and shown us where it supported their business. With all that said, why do we have international versions of our contract templates inside the contract shop? It's a good question. And the reason is because we wanna make it as easy as possible for you to hit the ground running. Like we want you to be able to download this and plug and play and then 10 minutes later, send it to your client so that when you get off a sales call with the client, you can send them a contract 10 minutes later, even if you just literally got off the phone call and have no plan. This happens all the time. This is what our customers tell us. And honestly, it was one of my motivating factors for starting the contract shop when it took me two weeks to send my first client their contract as a lawyer. So the international versions obviously have language that's customized and that's customized with an S for my friends in Canada and Australia. <laughs> and the UK and that's customized with a Z for us here in America. So like that's an example of one of the customizations that we've made to the templates for the international versions. And then we've also worked with international law firms just to make sure that they are compliant with those local laws because even though I'm an attorney based here in the US and the peer review of our templates was done by other US attorneys, well, we also wanna have it peer reviewed by those local counsel in those countries so that we're not leaving anything out and putting it all in there for for our customers. If you were to compare and contrast the US versus the UK or Canada or New Zealand or whatever version of the contracts that you have, you would see they're really not that different, but there are just a few subtle nuances that we've changed in them to make it more convenient, a little bit easier for you. Make sure it's in your localized language and spellings and things like that. Plus, if there was any kind of local laws around whatever it is that you're selling as a service. We wanna make sure that we customize that language for you because you're not based here in the US and you have a different copyright system, you have a different licensing system than we do here. I hope this has been super helpful. And if it has, you'll definitely wanna check out the other videos on this channel, especially what's being recommended to you next, because that is the next best place for you to keep learning and keep getting legit with your business. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.